Good morning. Oh my goodness. I haven't been around over Christmas, have I? Not on YouTube. If you don't know me, my name's Jean. I'm I'm normally a doll channel. <clears throat> Sorry, I've just been rushing. <laughs> but I've come on today to do, I obviously, well I'm not obviously, because you, if you don't know me, you won't know. I follow, or try to follow, the Slimming World plan. Healthy eating plan. They don't call it a diet as such, but... If you're counting anything, it's a diet, isn't it? You know, if you're moderating your eating. So, oh, now I've forgotten to measure out my milk. Hang on. Yeah, so I've been away. I haven't been away. I've been here. A lie. Now, wait a minute. It's all right. I've got this funny jug that's... There we are. Liquids is this way up. 50 mils, I think I need of that which isn't 50 mils in there, so I have to open a new bottle. I try to be all prepared, but it doesn't always work out, does it? Well, it doesn't for me anyway. Now, these muffins I've been trying to make for ages. I've been searching for some muffin cases, silicon cases, and couldn't get any. So... Is that 50 mils? That's 50 mils there. I'm using paper cases. So the only cases I could get were, where are you? Can you see? These, which are fairy cake cases. These are the size I wanted, the muffin cases. I could do several of small ones, but no, I'm gonna do the big ones as that's what I planned. So, I saw, if you'll do Slimming World, you probably know Tracy Mouse on YouTube. She made this before Christmas, which is what I was going to do, but never got around to it. Now, they're apple and mincemeat muffins. Well, Tracy used, used bran, as in, all brown cereal but I'm gonna use <clears throat> excuse me oh, I what's wrong with me today I'm a bit puffy yeah I'm gonna use um because I don't eat all bran so what I use for my healthy extra are Weetabix these are chocolate Weetabix which is those now two of those are your healthy extra B as well so I'm going to, you know, what am I going to crush those up? Well, I'm just going to do it by hand, I think. See how small I can get it. My hands are clean, and as it's me only going to eat it anyway, um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, they do smell nice. <laughs> oh, have you gone back to group yet? Slimming World. I went back, and my group is normally on a Monday. Of course, it was a bank holiday on Monday, but Boxing Day here in the UK. Uh, so my consultant did a group on Tuesdays, which we went to. Well, not many of us went to. A few of us went and braved the scales. I had put on three pound, three pound in a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this week I've got to get back into some sort of healthy eating um, it's not going to be easy but what I plan to do uh, you know there's still Christmas stuff around and I don't throw things away the price of food these days you, you can't waste food can you you really can't so I haven't measured my cereal, because I know two of those are a healthy extra, B. Um, if, you, if you're following Slimming World, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, that's not particularly small, but you get the idea. They're going to be okay, I think. If they're not, then, as I say, it's only me eating them, so that's fine. You're supposed to bleach your cereal, but I haven't done that. 
And to that, you add baking powder. Now, baking powder, it's only a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. So a very, what is that in my baking powder? Nothing. A quarter of a teaspoon. So it's a very tiny, oh, I can't see you, there we are. A very, very small amount of baking powder. So I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to sin it. If you follow Slimming World, you'll know what all the sins are about and everything else. Um, right. So, what am I doing? And you've got to add some sweetener to that. So, to that, we add two tape. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Te two teaspoons of sweetener of your choice. This is the one I use. That's the only one I can stand, really. I quite like candy oil, but it's not that brilliant for you. So that's the one I get. Um, right. That's a teaspoon. I'm gonna two of those. One, two. Mix that round. Yeah, these lumps are so big, really. I should uh, do them a bit finer. Oh, oh well, oh well. Right. Um, now, I've got my eggs, my 50 mils of eggs. Now, um, 50 mils of eggs, 50 mils of milk. Yeah, just double check. And now I need two eggs. Which I'm going to break into there. One. Two. I'll grab a fork. See, I'm not at all organised. I do try, but it doesn't always work out. All right, two eggs. Beat into milk. And I'm going to beat that all together. And then you've got to add apple. Now this is 50 grams of eating apple, dessert apple. Um, yeah, my apples are not that brilliant because of Christmas. They're all going a bit over, so they're okay. I'll cut that. I'm going to cut that very small, am I? As I say, it's only for me. And my fingers are clean. Poor Trace is thinking, oh my goodness, why is she doing it like that? I'm sure I'm doing everything wrong, but we will see. We will see how they come out. Right, and that's about it, really. Now, I'm going to divide them into... Now, what should I put them on for easy... Oh, I'm going to pop them on here, and then I'll...
Should I do one singly or should I do two? Sometimes they're better if they're in twos, aren't they? Do just a bit. I'm going to do them like that because they're going to go in the air fryer and I don't want them to blow around <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> you never know, do you? I think they're... Yeah, I think there's only one there. I think they're about the right weight, but... Or oh, they will be weighted with the mixture, but... Uh, yeah, I don't want them taking off. Right, so we're going to use two cases just to give it a bit more... Watch my call it. That's going to be divided. We're going to do four. That may or may not be enough. We will see. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some in each case. <clears throat> then we're going to put the mincemeat in, which I'll show you in a second, and then put the rest on top. So we do it like that. Obviously, some are going to get more apple than the others, but that's just the way it goes. Right, now I'm using my mincemeat. I do not believe mincemeat goes out of date. So... Mine is slightly out of date, so it started to crystallise a bit. <clears throat> and let's face it, if you bought mincemeat over Christmas, whichever Christmas, <laughs> you're not going to use it all, are you? So two tablespoons of this. You can look up your own make of mincemeat, whatever you're using. This is an Aldi. Aldi? Yeah, I believe it is. Aldi Pantry mincemeat which is I wrote it down just now what did I where did I write it two level taste tablespoons is four sins now I should have put two tablespoons in here sure I'm gonna put two tablespoons full in here and then I can divide it out from there, can't I? So I think that's a tablespoon. What? It says that's a tablespoon. What am I doing? Do, 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 do. One teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons. These are marked up wrong. They've got my new spoons. They got this big one as a teaspoon. Look at that. They got that big one as a teaspoon. So I'm not quite sure. That one is one ta tablespoon. It's got an egg separator on here. Now that one is a teaspoon. But then they've got and they've got that one as marked up as Half a teaspoon. They've, they're all marked up wrong. Oh my goodness. Um, now I've just used those to do the baking powder, haven't I? Oh well. We will see. Now, I want two tablespoons. Excuse the state of my drawer if you can see it into it. Now, I know this one is a tablespoon. That's probably right, that one. There we go. I will sort them out. I will sort them out. So you need two level. Tablespoons. Of mincemeat. I'll have to get. Sort those measures out. And some. Um, Get a sharpie or something and write on them. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of that one. A little teaspoon here, and that's gonna be divided into the four. Right in the middle. I 
or somewhere near the middle, we should say. the rest just to cover them over. Oh, there's my thing going up in there to check the meters. Got to read the meters today before the prices all go up again. Oh. It's never ending, isn't it? So, that's that. And they're going to be cooked in my air fryer. Now, let me just tell you what we got. You got, use your healthy extra bee choice for your cereal, which is like 50 grams of all bran, or as I've used, two Weetabix. You got 50 mils of milk, now, that's part of your Healthy Extra A choice. If you're using skimmed milk, you'll get 350 for your A choice. So, that's 50 grams of it. You've got two eggs, which are free. You've got a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, I can't remember, but I think half a teaspoon is like half a sin, so we're not counting that. You've got 50 grams of eating apple. Now, when you cook apple, you have to sin it. Not if you eat it raw. But, yeah, if you're cooking with it. So, that's one to one and a half sins. Say one and a half sins. You've got two level tablespoons of your minced meat, which is four sins. And you've got two teaspoons of sweetener, which is three. So, all together... Yeah, they're your healthy extra. Yeah, yeah, healthy extra B plus one sin each. No, that's not right. Because <laughs> you got the. Yeah, well, it's four sins for the mince, mate. And. Well, it's not even four and a half, is it? You count the... Whatever. You choose whatever you want to choose. You do it. To, you write it down whatever way you like. Now, they're going to go in my air fryer. And they're going to go on... I wrote it down here. They're going to go on to 170 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put them on for eight minutes and then see if they need another couple of minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back with you. Clear up a bit and then I'll be back to show you the outcome. So they're gonna go in the air fryer. See you in a bit. Well, they're out the oven and the air fryer's still going. Well, it's not really going, but it's, uh, it's open that door so it's, it's cooling down. And there they are. Apple and mincemeat Weetabix muffins, chocolate Weetabix muffins. They took about maybe 10 minutes on 170, but it's so windy out there. You can decide what your, you know, what's best with your air fryer. Just keep checking them. Just keep checking them. But uh, they're different sizes. But if you was to eat all of them, eh, if you're eating them yourself, count one and a half each, maybe. One and a half cents each. Um, they smell absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And there they are. If you make them, you enjoy them. I've got lots of things to use up because of Christmas, vegetables. So I'm gonna make a parsnip and carrot soup maybe for me. No one else would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
there is a Slimming World recipe with, for honeyed parsnip soup that looks lovely, but I don't like honey. No, so I'm just going to throw everything in a pan. Well, not everything. My parsnips and some carrot, I think, and uh, some stock. And I don't like garlic, so I won't be adding any garlic. Maybe, maybe a titchy bit. Mm. Onions, maybe, and seasoning. I'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go. If you have these, I hope they're nice. They look nice. They smell absolutely gorgeous. I've got my cups around the wrong way. Look, I've got the blue one on the green and the green one on the blue. Not that it matters. I love these plates. eBay buy. An eBay buy. Plate plates. See you soon. Bye bye.